Welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry, I know it's been a while. There's been a lot going on, mainly life. But the building of the new shop, the construction of the office area, the utility area, uh, getting the floors done, insulation, I mean, just everything. It's, it's taken a lot of time, been a lot of projects. I've just not been able to record just to get try and get caught up. But I've got a number of projects coming up I think you're going to be really interested in. I can't wait to share them with you. Uh, I've made a few notes here just to kind of give you an idea of what's coming up. This is a 91 shop truck. I know you haven't forgotten about that. It's been in a lot of videos. Uh, we've still got more to do on this truck. The interior needs to be basically removed and cleaned. I'm going to put in uh, sound editing material. Uh, found new armrest pads. Um, we're going to redo the headliner. Uh, and we're going to do a core shifter install. So if you've never seen one or if you're thinking about buying one, check this out. We'll do the install and then a little bit later date, we'll do a road test on it. Uh, the outside, we're looking at doing mirrors. Uh, we're going to do an underhood insulation pad, clean it up, make it look nice and everything. The, uh, the rubber trim that goes around the top of your upper control arms, we're replacing that. And we've got more. So hang in there on that one. The 95, we have not forgotten about that project. It is coming. In fact, I hope to get it here in the shop in the next several days so that in the next week or two, after kind of cleaning it up and seeing what all we are going to keep and throw away, uh, we'll start disassembly of that. The 98. Okay. This is one I haven't really showed you too much about it, and the truck is really dirty right now, but it's one of those things when you're going to buy an OBS, I don't mind paying a premium for something if it's a premium product. On eBay, you take your chances. I wasn't able to go and see the truck personally. It was in California. Uh, the description was great. The pictures, there could have been more pictures, that's for sure. But all the pictures looked wonderful. Bought the truck. I got him down on his price, but I still paid what I feel like was a premium for the vehicle. Uh, it was a 98 GMC K2500 with 95,000 miles on it. No, I'm sorry, 88,000 miles. Uh, got the truck here. The shipping was more than it was projected to be. And the truck needed a few more things than I was led on to believe. A small example, the intake manifold leaks coolant. The water pump makes noise. I suspect that the fuel pressure regulator is uh, going to go out on it because it's, it's acting up. Uh, front brake pads, we're going to flush the brakes. All new shocks. Uh, we're going to replace the headlights and the turn signals because they're cloudy. The pictures didn't reflect any of this, nor was the information provided. Uh, the windshield wipers didn't work. And the driver door doesn't work. The driver door lock doesn't work from the inside. Works from the outside with key. But the intake manifold gasket and the water pump is the thing that really kind of irks me the most because on these trucks, that is not a real simple thing to do. Uh, the pre-Vortec would have been simpler, but with the the 98 having the fuel injection system that it has, it's a bit more complex. The fuel pressure regulator is underneath the manifold, the upper half. There's a two-piece intake manifold. It's underneath. So you've got to take it all apart to get to that. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a chore, but I think it's one that there's a number of people out there who probably like to see that. Let me show you why it's become a higher priority now to change those manifold gaskets and that water pump. Okay, here's the truck. I apologize for it being dirty. When I live two miles off of a paved road, I can't keep anything clean. Anyway, looking underneath the truck, that's a lot of coolant to me. And that doesn't take long to accumulate like that. It took about two days. So that's something that's got to be done. So that's what we've got planned in the very near future. We're trying to get on these projects. I want to get them recorded. I want to get them out there. It's just been difficult in the past well, several months, a lot longer than I would have expected it to take to get the shop into the condition it's in right now. It's still no, I got a long ways to go, but it's getting there. Anyway, I hope you'll stick around, subscribe, hit the like button if you like it. Hope you'll stick around and catch videos in the future. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.